course, uh, progress is always one of my biggest goals. Um, Coach Curtis and Coach Johnson do a great job of getting us prepared and ready um, for all types of meets. And, and the expectation at Oregon here is high, and so I'm, I'm excited to get another chance uh, to go ahead and get that, those records and titles. Just talking to Robert about the, maybe the pressure of the indoor season to get that qualifier early. Do you go into this meet this weekend thinking, hey, you know, this is when it really starts? I don't have a whole lot of time to mess around in a meet. <laughs> uh, that is, that's a good point. Uh, the indoor season is short, um, but I, no, I'm just no, no pressure. Not a lot of pressure. Um, you know, pressure is good in a sense, and so I do feel a little bit of pressure. But I'm just excited to get another, another chance, um, another opportunity to compete and represent my school. What kind of an atmosphere do you expect in Fayetteville? Big, big time track program, just like here. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty big meet. There's a lot of big name schools coming, and I think it's going to be a good time. I think we're going to have a lot of qualifiers, um, not only at the meet, but for the Ducks. You got some new people added to to your training group this year, both men and women. You know, what have you seen from from the new people so far? I've seen a lot of a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication, um, and as well as some sacrifice. And so. Uh, just off the top of my head, one of those guys, DJ Henderson, he's a he's a long jumper as well, kind of a 60 guy, got some speed. He he brings great energy to the mix, great energy to practice and to the work environment, and it kind of kind of fuels you know the, the fire a little bit and makes working out a little bit easier. How different does it feel uh, training daily on, on Hayward Field? So it's a little different. Um, we are over here in kind of the football the football training facility, and so it's a little different. It doesn't quite have that magical feel that Hayward always gives. But nonetheless, when we trained at Hayward, unless the sun was out, which, you know, in Eugene, there's a lot of liquid sunshine. Um, <laughs> but we usually trained underneath the grandstands anyways, and that was a lot smaller area. And so being over here, it's a lot more open. So I think that, that I think we use that to our advantage. With Hayward Field being redone, how does it feel to have the school put up an exhibit to, you know, appreciate the track and field and the history of the school and the organ? It's it's phenomenal. I mean, I can't even really put how much it means to me in words. Um, it's just a really big deal, and I think all of the athletes on the team and athletes coming to the team and athletes that have been on the team, it means a lot to them. Um, very very few student athletes across the world, even you know, in our great country don't get to kind of say that. You know, Hayward Field is special and Track Town USA is very special. And so it's just really cool to have um, the facilities and, the, and the, the funding, the encouragement and the love and support of Track and Field out here. So it's, it's huge. Jason, one of the things we talked about preseason was uh, qualifying for Worlds. What's that mark looking like for you? And then what does that mean for you during the season? So I believe they released the standards back in November, and I believe the A standard is, in my event, 8.15, um, 8.15 meters. And so I think, I think the coaches have done a great job here of getting me ready for that. And I won't be competing, I won't be representing the U, uh, United States of America, I'll be representing the Commonwealth of Dominica, which is my dad's country. Um, I'm a dual citizen, I got my passport last year in June, I believe. And so that was really exciting. And so now it's just kind of like, go get it. And there's a whole lot of green in front of me. And, and these coaches here do a great job of getting me ready and getting me prepared. So it's just really kind of like a can't wait. Anything else, Tristan? Uh, nothing. Looking forward to the season. And let's go Ducks. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.